Well, you're in for a treat tonight. Uh, these students have been here working hard now for uh, three full days, so uh, we are happy that you're here and attending. And at this time, what I'd like to do is introduce our guest conductor, who's come here um, from Washington, D.C. area uh, to help bring this incredible music to you. If you do have your program in front of you, you'll see the blurb there about him. I want you to take some time and read all the way through it. The two things that I want to highlight are the most recent uh, positions that he's held. Dr. Tim, Timothy Robley uh, was at Northwestern University where he was associate director of bands but currently is now Director of Bands and Associate Professor of Music at Shenandoah Conservatory. We are really honored to have him here. Uh, his expertise I've been able to witness over the last three days, and I think you'll really, really appreciate how, how beautiful the music is that's going to be presented to you. Dr. Robley, if you would please come out. Let's give him a round of applause. Before we start our program, a couple of things. If your cell phone is still on, please make sure that that gets turned off. And I'm asking our high school principal, Stuart Kent, if he would please lead us in a word of prayer before we get started. Good evening. It is my honor to uh, welcome you here this evening for this uh, fantastic event. And we are gonna open in a word of prayer, but before we do that, there are a whole list of thank yous that we need to just acknowledge. And I want to start by thanking the students behind me. Thank you for the work that you've put in over the last three days. We are excited to see the, and hear the fruits of what you've done. For the tech staff here in the theater, for the music staff in the uh, band staff here in Seoul Foreign School, thank you. For parents who have hosted students, we thank you for all that you've done to give them a wonderful time. For our guest conductor, we thank you for making the journey a little further than most of us, to be here tonight and to conduct us. But we do also want to thank the Lord for everything that he's done. So please bow with me in a word of prayer. Lord, we thank you for the gift of music. Lord, it brings joy to our heart. It lifts our spirits. It enables us to express our emotions. Lord, may the nervousness of the students behind me turn into positive adrenaline as they give the performance worthy of their hard work leading up to this event. Lord, we thank you for all of the band directors from our schools that have participated. Lord, thank you for their dedication to teaching these students music. Be with us this evening. May it glorify you. Amen. And without further ado, over to Tim. Thank you.
I will add my welcome. It's a great pleasure to be back here in Seoul. Uh, it's been two years since I've been on this stage, and it was a wonderful experience then and again this year. Uh, these students have worked incredibly hard, and I'm so glad you're here to share this evening with us. That was a piece by Brian Balmages from my now home state of Virginia uh, called Reverberations. We're next going to go to something slightly older. This is the Prelude and Fugue in G minor by J.S. Bach. Since the percussion do have a few things to move to our next piece, I'll share, we, we spent a number of, a lot of the time this week and this weekend uh, kind of exploring the music in different ways. And we had the opportunity this morning, uh, last night in Virginia, to talk to the composer of the next piece. Uh, this is Moon by Night by Jonathan Newman. And he shared with us a little bit of the process of composing for him, took some of the questions of the students. I have to say, they were quite excellent questions. 
and got a chance to share a little bit of what makes this music personal to us. So we hope you enjoy this performance of Moon by Night by Jonathan Newman. The next piece of, on the program, uh, the original suite, 
by Mr. Jacob stems from kind of the classic British band tradition. This piece is in three movements, and you will hear some forms of repetition. You'll hear some of the elements of kind of great British march, and you'll even hear a lovely middle movement, which this Brit called his Irish tune. So we hope you enjoy the original suite by Jacob.
The next piece on the program is by a Canadian composer by the name of Michael Colgrass. Uh, Michael Colgrass is actually known more for his music for professional ensembles and collegiate ensembles than he is for music for younger people. Uh, he is the winner of the Pulitzer Prize for Music, the most esteemed award given in the United States to a composer uh, for a percussion quartet that he wrote years ago. This piece is very special to him in that he wrote it with a number of students. And the piece, Old Churches, was his attempt with these students to create some music that evoked for the audience and for the players memories of another time or another place. Not really a story of a place, but the feelings of it, kind of in the way, as we talked about in rehearsal, uh, an impressionist painting would. So this piece uses a lot of techniques that demand of the musicians that they decide how it goes. So it's been a tremendous joy to rehearse this and let them make the decisions on what makes the piece effective, what makes the piece moving to the audience, and what makes it moving to us. Um, among the sounds that you will hear, the composer tried to create kind of moods and sounds that you would hear in an old church, whatever that church may be. So you'll hear kind of the sounds and the songs of old monks singing. You'll hear sounds of distant church bells, in this case, played on kitchen utensils, as the composer requested. You'll hear the sound of sometimes people kind of murmuring in the church and using their voices in small, distant ways. And we have to figure out with our instruments how to make those sounds, the sounds of kind of people chattering a little bit closer to us. So you'll hear some different and unusual ways that we use our instruments to try to create this, this illusion and this soundscape that makes up this wonderful piece by Michael Koras. I hope you enjoy hearing it. It's been a joy to rehearse with them and see them work on not making the music correct, but making it good and interesting. So we'll see if we did it.
Before we uh, have the last performance here, I'd like to recognize and ask um, the, the different choir directors to please come up uh, so that everyone can see the amount, uh, well, see and recognize you for the amount of work that you've put in. Playing like this doesn't just happen. There are hours and hours of work that are involved. So can I have uh, the directors from AISG, that's American International School of Guangzhou, who is a part of our team here. Uh, also Canadian Academy, if you'd please come up on stage. We also have directors from Concordia International School of Shanghai, also visiting Hong Kong International School. And the fifth is Shanghai American School Pushi Campus. And lastly, from Seoul Foreign School. Would you please acknowledge our indebtedness to them for all their hard work? On behalf of Seoul Foreign School and myself, I have just absolutely been enjoying this music. It's just been wonderful, and thank you for your hard work. Appreciate it. Well, I'll say a few last words. Uh, before we go to the final piece, uh, you've seen our wonderful directors. Uh, they spend untold hours getting these students ready for this performance, getting the music ready, getting the travel ready, making sure everybody gets on the bus to go home. Uh, it's an amazing undertaking, and you see the results of their labor, and, and these students benefit from the time they spend with them every week. Personally, I am so proud to call them my colleagues. It is a joy to be with them. Uh, I get a, the opportunity to get around the world and do this sort of thing in different places. And it's a joy to be with people that love what they do, that love their students, and want to share with other teachers and really be in the game. So to my colleagues, thank you. It's been such a joy and a privilege to work with you. And thank you for all your work preparing them here. And thank you for all your work in our rehearsals that you've jumped in and fixed all of the things that were sliding under the rug somehow. Uh, it's been really a wonderful week to spend with you. I'd like to also thank our hosts here at SFS. It's just been a joy to be here and wonderful to work with the students of both the middle school and the high school bands this week. Uh, what an amazing place. I am so happy for all of you that you have the opportunity to be here and share with these wonderful people. Uh, it's a great joy in my life to be able to return to this place. I will look forward to the next time. I'm going to say a few words to the students, and if you don't mind me being rude, I might even just turn around and talk to them. They're nervous now. <laughs> students, I'm, we had a chance to talk to each other a little bit earlier. But I want to say to you in front of all these people how proud I am of you. You worked so hard. You were fatigued. You pushed through. You sang amazingly. Sometimes they even played. You sizzled amazingly. You counted amazingly. I'm kind of curious to hear what your directors say you will do on the bus on the way home. I'm kind of hoping you'll count with your hands in the air, but that's just me. But I, I thank you for how open you are to each other and open to me. Uh, to get to be with you in this place is really special. Uh, it's kind of neat for me to see some students that were here two years ago, and it's, you know, these memories last. So we will see each other again because the musical world gets very, very small. And I'm so excited for you and where you're going next. And I will urge you, no matter where you go, find a place to play because it doesn't have to end here. But thank you for all your work. It's been kind of amazing to be with you. And finally, 
We're going to go, uh, and I'd like to say one last thing before we leave them, and that's especially a second thank you to our wonderful host families and our hosts that have taken care of us here and all of the parents that are in the audience. And I'm going to ask the students if we can acknowledge them one more time, because they do a lot of work. We're going to close with a piece by John Mackey. It's entitled Foundry. And it's called Foundry because he includes percussion instruments that we find, well, like a garbage can. It is, as you would expect, a very tender and touching piece. I hope it moves you deeply. This is Foundry by John Mackey.